Let's talk about comments. Comments are a useful way for a programmer to write notes to themselves or to other programmers. The program itself will not use the comments for anything. They're just notes inside of a program, giving better clarity to what you're trying to do inside of that program. Here's an example of some comments. You'll see that they start with two forward slashes, and these are called single line comments because they comment out one single line. They're just notes on what I'm trying to do in this program. So I'm trying to indicate that the weight just isn't any weight, it's the weight on Earth. And the next line of code is trying to find a person's weight on the moon using the calculations given. If you came back to this program 10 years later, you could say, oh, I see what I was trying to do there. Comments will not affect the program in any way. So if we tried to run this program, it would say your weight on the moon is 16.6. So there would be no compile errors or any problems because everything after the forward slashes on that line is going to be ignored by the compiler. Another purpose for comments is to see what works better. A lot of times when you're programming, you'll have an idea of one way to do it, and then you might think of another way to do it. And you don't necessarily want to leave behind your old idea. So you can comment out that idea and try it the new way. And then if you like the old way better, you could just take off the comments. I've shown you an example of this with my face program here. When you run the program, I get a face with two eyes that are O's, a nose, and a mouth. What I'm trying to do with this program is say, do I like at symbols better or the O's better? So I can have one line commented out and then switch which line is commented and see which one I like better when I run. So when I run the program now, I have the at symbols to be my eyes as opposed to the O's being my eyes. And I can go back and forth as often as I would like commenting and uncommenting until I decide on the final code which I like. And this is to prove the bigger idea that if you have one idea about a way that something should work, you can run it that way, comment it out, try it a new way, and then if you don't like it the new way, you can go back to the old way and all you have to do is remove the comments. In this example, I've written out an algorithm or a step-by-step -step guide to find the average of some numbers. And so the first step would be to count the number of items, find the sum of items, and divide the sum of items by the number of items. And I've implemented that code beneath. But the point of this program isn't to show you how to average numbers. It's to show you that when you have multiple lines like this that you're leaving in comments, you can use the second type of comment, which is a multi-line comment. It serves the same purpose as the single line comments. It's just less coding, and you can start at the beginning of the text with a forward slash star and end with star forward slash, and it'll comment out everything in between. The compiler will not read this code. It'll completely ignore it. So it's a nice way to comment out multiple lines rather than having to comment out every line individually using the two forward slashes. The third and final type of comment is the documentation comments. They look very similar to the last multi-line comments, but there is a difference. If you look at the beginning, instead of just having one asterisk, it has two asterisks. And that's the subtle difference between the two. It's used to comment out multiple lines of code, but it also serves the specific purpose of writing documentation comments. And you can see in mine, the documentation comment that I left is saying what this program is doing. It's calculating a person's weight on the moon and outputting it. These comments are used to really sum up what you're trying to do inside of the entire program or inside of an entire section of a program. And the syntax is slightly different with that extra asterisk. The main purpose of comments is to leave yourself or other programmers notes, anyone who's going to look at the source code. A secondary use is you could use them to try new things and leave a fallback. Just like I was trying to determine the eyes that I wanted to use with my face, I could comment out one, use the other, and then go back and forward to whichever one I like better. And this is common in programming where you have one idea of you really think this is the way the code should work. And then you think, well, maybe this other way would be better. If you use the comments to leave behind the older code, you can go back to the old code just by uncommenting it. Or you can use the new code and delete the old code. Lots of choices there. There are three types of comments. And the first type is the two forward slashes, which only comments one line at a time. So if you just have a single line comment, you would use the two forward slashes. 
The forward slash star, star forward slash, is used to comment multiple lines. So if you have more than one line of code, or you could even comment one line of code using them, you would use the multiple line comment. And then finally are the documentation comments. These are just to indicate what are you trying to do as a whole inside of this class or inside of this program? What are you trying to do as a whole in a certain part of the program? Java has a special way of looking at these notes and pulling them out to give others the ability to see what you're trying to do inside of the program. Comments are extremely important and good comments written to yourself and others will take away a lot of the stress of coming back to a program and trying to understand what you're trying to do or going to a new program and trying to understand what someone else was doing in their code. Write good comments and you and other programmers will be grateful.